Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some of my favorite foods in Disney World. So if you want some great food ideas, then just stick around. Okay, starting off with resorts. I had, of course, to mention the beignets at Port Orleans French Quarter. You do not have to be staying there to get their beignets. Um, it's since it is a bus only resort, so if you want to get there from any of the parks, you have to take a bus, except if you are staying at Port Orleans Riverside, you can just walk over there. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult, but it's not impossible. Um, I don't know if you would be allowed, I'm guessing not, I'm guessing you would not be allowed to park there for free if you're eating at a quick service restaurant. I think that rule applies only if you have a dining reservation. But if you happen to be there in that area, definitely try their beignets. You can get them just plain as is. They're Mickey shaped beignets or you can get them with a dipping sauce. They have a caramel dipping sauce and they have a strawberry dipping sauce. Of course I picked the caramel. So, so good. Highly recommend them. So moving on to the parks, I wanted to pick something in each of the parks and I have a couple of things in each of the parks. So starting off with my top picks for Animal Kingdom. At Tusker House, it is a buffet, but one item on their buffet in particular is the banana bread pudding and they have a vanilla cream sauce for it. It is so, so phenomenal, you guys. I dream about this banana bread pudding. I'm not even a big banana person. It is so amazing. If you are eating at Tusker House, you have to try it. It's so delicious. And I asked my husband what his opinion was. I should mention, um, Tusker House is in Africa, in Animal Kingdom. And I asked my husband what his opinion was. And the, our last trip we ate at Yak and Yeti, which is in Asia, in Animal Kingdom. And he said it was the chicken tikka masala. He really, really enjoyed that. He said he would definitely get it again. So that is his pick as well. Moving on to Hollywood Studios. Now for us, this one is a new one. I knew I would love that. I was so excited to try them. And they are the Lunchbox Tarts. Now they have two flavors. They have a raspberry and they have a chocolate hazelnut Lunchbox Tart. And it's essentially like a fancified version of a Pop-Tart, a homemade fancified version. You guys, they're so good. I was a little nervous when I saw that there's not very much filling on the inside, but really it, it was so, so good. Um, the chocolate hazelnut does have some candied bacon on the top, which, and I'm not a big bacon person, so I was a little um, iffy about that, but there's so little, you guys, you can hardly even taste it. Um, and if it really grossed you out, you could easily just brush that off. It wouldn't be an issue, but I, I didn't even taste it. It was so, so good. The raspberry was good as well. The chocolate hazelnut was my favorite, but they're both amazing. And if you are in Hollywood Studios, I highly recommend you get them. They're technically considered a dessert, but hey, you're at Disney and it's kind of like a Pop-Tart. So I say go ahead and consider it a breakfast. Also in Hollywood Studios is the Cobb Salad at the Hollywood Brown Derby. This is a very famous, um, very famous salad and it really is very, very good. They do a great job there. Everything is chopped so fine. It's absolutely delicious. We've been there a couple of times and every time we've been there, my husband and I have both gotten the Cobb salad. So I highly recommend that as well. Moving on to Magic Kingdom. So there are a couple of foods in the Magic Kingdom that I really like. The first is the New England clam chowder at Columbia Harbor House. It's absolutely delicious. Um, you don't really want something hot like that, like a hot soup in the middle of summer, but I have had it before. They do have it. Um, but I really have enjoyed going to Disney when it's cooler because then you're more in a soup type of mood. Um, I really, really recommend it. And I should say an honorary mention in this category is the vegetarian chili at Columbia Harbor House, which I don't know if I mentioned it, is located in Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. Um, it is very good as well. I'm not gonna say it's like my absolute favorite, but even people who are not vegetarians have just rave about it online. It's very, very good. So I highly recommend it as well, even if you aren't a vegetarian, but especially if you are. Lastly, at the Magic Kingdom, and I'm not going to include anything in the Magic Kingdom, um, in the confectionery, the uh, right when you walk in on the right hand side, because everything there is going to be amazing. I mean, it's a bakery. They have amazing, amazing desserts. So I'm kind of steering clear of that, um, just because that one to me is kind of like a common sense thing. But 
my other favorite item in the Magic Kingdom is the ooey gooey toffee cake at Liberty Tree Tavern. Again, it's in Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom. You guys, it is so, so good. My husband and I shared it. It might have been one of the best things I've ever eaten. Very sweet, um, but in case you couldn't tell, I have kind of a big sweet tooth. So I highly recommend that as well. And lastly, moving on to Epcot, I wanted to save my, save the best for last, save my favorites for last. Epcot has amazing, amazing foods. Um, with World Showcase, they have such phenomenal foods and they're very, very authentic. Um, so don't at all think it's not for kids. They have such, I mean, if your kid likes to eat, you know, I mean, it's, it's amazing, trust me. And something I should also mention in regard to kids eating at really anywhere, but they do have, if you're nervous about your kid not liking some of the foods, they have a kid's menu and they pretty much always have something that is very kid friendly, very American kid friendly. Um, for example, like at, I mentioned Tusker House at the Animal Kingdom, it's a buffet. It's typically, for the most part, it's African themed foods. They have like mini corn dogs for kids and stuff too. I mean, adults can get them as well because it's a buffet, but they have Point being, they do have typical kid foods there as well, so you don't at all have to worry about it. But my favorite foods in Epcot, starting with school bread. If you guys have been around for a long time, I mentioned this way in the beginning. I haven't talked about it in a while, but that is located at Kringla Bakery in the Norway Pavilion in World Showcase in Epcot. It is so good. It's like a donut. It has um, like a creamy custardy type of filling, and it has toasted coconut on it. It is so delicious. The next thing I'm going to mention are the fish and chips in the UK Pavilion in World Showcase. If you have been to England and have had authentic, real fish and chips, I have not found anywhere else in the United States that I've had it, certainly not in my area in the Midwest, um, where they have authentic British fish and chips. Even there's a, we have a restaurant very near us that they say they have British fish and chips. It's not, it's total Wisconsin fish and chips. This, the stuff you can get in the UK Pavilion in Epcot, you guys, it is so authentic. If you really like that, you have to try it. Now you can actually get it in two places. You can get it at the Rose and Crown Dining Room, which is a table service restaurant, or you can get it at the Yorkshire County Fish Shop, which is a counter service restaurant right next to the Rose and Crown Dining Room. Um, and if you go to the Yorkshire County Fish Shop, on their menu, they say how many pieces of fish you get and then you have the chips. You can actually um, break that down and say, can I just get one piece of fish or can I not have the chips? And then they will prorate the cost for you. So that's another tip as well, but definitely get it. It's always super, super hot because it like just comes out of the fryer when you get it. But you guys, it's amazing. If you like fish and chips, British fish and chips, you have to try it. Now, a must do restaurant for us every time is the Rose and Crown the Rose and Crown dining room might for my husband and I, we absolutely have to eat there. Um, if we can't get a dining reservation there, at the very least we will get fish and chips from the Yorkshire County Fish Shop. So that is a must do for us. The other must do for us in all of Disney World in terms of dining is Via Napoli. And that is in the Italy Pavilion in World Showcase in Epcot. And every single time we go, we get the margarita pizza. It is so, so, so amazing. It's with fresh mozzarella and is very thin. Um, and normally I'm not a big thin crust kind of person, but it's not crispy. It's just, you guys, it is phenomenal. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, if I had, if I had any complaint about, um, actually the two restaurants in Epcot, I would have to say, um, Via Napoli, the area where you wait they have, I believe this is a good opportunity to use the word antechamber. I'm not sure. Um, like before you go into the actual restaurant, they have a little enclosed area where you check in and they have seating. And it's always very crowded in there um, and very loud because it's like kids are screaming and it's echoing off the walls and stuff. But it's totally worth it to deal with the crowds and wait until your table is ready. And the other piece to that is um, at Rose and Crown when you're waiting they have you just kind of like wait against the wall outside. You check in outside um, and they just kind of have you wait along the wall. And I usually end up just sitting on the ground and it's totally fine for me, but it's less than ideal, but I've never had to wait a very long time for my table to be called at Rose and Crown anyway. But those, those two things are a little bit less than ideal in those um, restaurants. But like I said, they're still must-dos for us and I highly, highly recommend them. And lastly, 
which my I think in this last trip became like one of my all-time favorite foods is the caramel fleur de sel ice cream at L'Artisan de Glace, I think is how you pronounce it, which is essentially the ice cream shop in the France Pavilion. So it's when you walk into the France Pavilion, you have to go in and go up to the left. It's kind of in the back there, a um, little bit off the beaten path, um, but they have ice cream. And the caramel fleur de sel ice cream is so good. Once I discovered this, I got it every time we went back to Epcot. Something to note, they have European size portions. They have French portions. They do not have American portions. So when they say one scoop of ice cream, they mean one scoop of ice cream. Um, but it is, it's so, so good. You can have it in um, a waffle cone. You can have it in like a waffle bowl. You can have it in a cup. They also have, let's see, it is, you have one scoop of it's called croque glace and we haven't tried it. I keep wanting to try it, but I'm so worried it's going to be not as good as what I know is amazing. So I haven't tried it yet, but it's called the croque glace and it's one scoop of your choice of ice cream um, with your choice of sauce in homemade brioche and then they press it. So like they make it like into a panini, which is so it's like hot and then there's ice cream and I don't understand it, um, but it does look really, really good. And then they do also have um, macaroon ice cream sandwiches that are bigger than the traditional macaroon, but they have chocolate. And then, um, they say that they have a seasonal one, but I've always seen it as strawberry. Um, but they do have two flavors there because they do also have sorbet as well. So the strawberry looks like it's the, um, strawberry sorbet that they have, but it's so good. We've tried so many different flavors there, but the caramel fleur de sel is definitely my favorite. So these are some of my absolute favorite foods in Disney World and quite possibly in the entire world. Um, so if the next time you are at Disney, I highly, re highly, highly recommend you try any of them. They're all amazing. I can't wait to have them again the next time I go back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys.